get some of that nervous energy out before I go meet Jesse Chen from VIP Kid. So I am on my way right now to meet Jesse Chen. She is one of the founders of VIP Kid. I really feel lucky to be able to meet her in person. I don't really know much about her trip here, why she's here um, in Austin. I know that she's going to be at a meetup that we have for local teachers later. Um, and I'm not spoiling anything because I won't release this until after that. I wonder if I can get an interview with her. I have a lot of things I want to ask her, but you know, probably when the time comes, I'll be like, uh, Hi, Jesse. <laughs> can I have your autograph? Oh, oh. So I did get to interview Jessie. She enthusiastically agreed to an interview that I would then share with you guys. So I'm very stoked to share this with you, but I also want to tell you more about my meeting with her, which was not recorded. I found out that the reason for her visit was to connect with teachers and get feedback about the company. This was her main point in coming to the U.S. for this trip. She went to a couple of meetups and she talked extensively with the people that she met there. I got to sit down with Jessie for almost three hours and talk with her about the VIP Kid teacher experience. When a co-founder of a large global company wants to sit down with you and get your feedback on how the company is being run, that can be a little intimidating. Luckily though, Jessie is very relatable and very warm and I instantly felt at ease talking to her. When she asked me for what things the company could improve, I felt comfortable enough to share those things with her. She asked a lot of questions and she even took notes. Through our meeting, it was really obvious to me that the company is trying to hear our feedback and really wanting to connect with us and make the experience of teaching with VIP Kid even better than it is right now. Jesse asked questions about the application process. So I was able to give some feedback and some insight from our perspective about how that works. She heard what you've been saying and she took notes. We talked about fresh desk responses and tickets. If you've been with the company very long, you've seen a huge improvement in the fresh desk responses and in the email responses that we get. She was very eager to hear how those tickets and how those email responses are received on our end and how we perceive them. I particularly wanted to talk to Jesse about professional development within the company and how to grow our careers more from teaching to mentor to what are the next steps. They also met two other members of the VIP Kid team. One of them is a brand manager from San Mateo, California, and the other one, also in San Mateo, is the new head of teacher happiness. I don't have a lot of insight into what will happen in the future, but I feel really good about being heard in the meeting. Those two other team members that I met were relatively new to VIP Kid. They were pretty amazed and impressed of our networks, our groups, the way that we support each other. These little details that we share where we talk about Bow Bow, or we mention the frenzy on Sunday night, or we use TPR with our dogs. These are all parts of our culture, and it was really interesting to see them looking at our culture, admiring it, and finding value in it. Just know that these two team members were super nice, very attentive, very interested, and very responsive. I also took the opportunity to make sure that these guys understood and that Jesse understood that we love our students. I feel like that's the thing that unites us more than anything. So you can probably tell I'm super excited about everything that happened this weekend. Meeting Jesse, talking to her about the interview you're about to see. She even came to a meetup with our local teachers. So without further ado, here's the interview with Jesse, followed by a bit of footage from our VIP Kid teacher meetup in Austin, Texas. Enjoy. It's nice that you're here in Austin. Yeah. What are you doing here? So I want to meet teachers and uh, hear teachers' feedback. Yeah. And, uh, so we can work hard on teachers' feedback. Great, great. I know the teachers at the meetup are going to be super excited to see you. I hope so. <laughs> I'm so excited too. Have you been to teacher meetups before? Uh, yes, in Utah. Yeah, once. Once, yeah. How was that? Oh, that's great. Great experience. Yeah? I love it too. And uh, I think next year I need to do more. 
Oh, that would be exciting. Yeah. That would be exciting. So when did you get to the United States this on this trip? When did you arrive? Uh, this Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, arrived uh -huh. in our Samatea office. Uh-huh. And then last night, I fly here. Okay, yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Austin? Oh, it's a great place. It's my first time to be in Texas and uh, Austin. I think yeah. it, this place is lovely and pretty. Thank you. And the weather is so comfortable. Yeah. It's not so cold compared to Beijing. Yeah, it's cold in Beijing right now. Mm -hmm. Very, very cold. <laughs> So you said that you want to meet teachers. What what are you hoping to learn from the teachers that you meet while you're on this trip? What kind of you wanting to learn something? You want to meet them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your mission? What's your goal? Yeah. <laughs> so first, I want to thank for our teachers because our teachers are amazing and they helped our students. They changed the world. I want to thank them. And the second, I want to listen to them and get some feedback and uh, so what kind of area we need to improve. Yeah. So I will get this information and uh, pass it to our, my team yeah. so they can work on that. Wow. Yeah. Well, we've, we, I'm going to speak for the Austin community before we've actually done that and met you that yeah. we're really honored and really happy to be part of talking to you and yeah. uh, feels really good to be listened to and to have somebody like yeah. Have you come from Beijing and meet with us? We as teachers want to communicate to you how much we love our students. For you to just take back, you know, that yeah. that orange wearing, dino hugging love, you know, back to Beijing <laughs> and how much we love working with you as you can. That's great, that's great. I really want to you know pass this kind of information, take this information to the Beijing house team. Yeah. And also pass it to our parents and the students, yeah. Yeah. it makes them feel right. our teachers love, you know. I, I think that's so exciting and I think the more contact we can have with Beijing, yeah. The, yeah. the better off we'll yeah. be. So we really appreciate you coming. And I was, uh, we were talking earlier, I really would like to get to know people in the office in Beijing. Yeah. And I saw your video that you did recently, Yeah. but I really wanted to know like some I want to know what you have for lunch. Like, okay. <laughs> what, like, you know, I want to know where your office is, or yeah. what, what it looks like, what yeah. your schedule is. So, what did you have for lunch, your, your last day in Beijing? Oh, last day in Beijing, <laughs> last I day just Beijing. had a rice. Rice. Yeah, and the potatoes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's very delicious. Yeah. And uh, last day in San Mateo office, mm -hmm. I had noodles. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's also very good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Is that your normal day? Yes. Normal. Normal day in Beijing, just you know, the breakfast, the rice, rice. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Some sometimes I will try noodles. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a very simple food. Well, we teach a class in VIP Kid that has the target sentence: uh, people eat rice in China. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. yeah. People I eat know. bread in America. <laughs> yes. <right? laughs> I remember this cute. Yeah. Is there anything that you'd want to say to the community, either to the Austin community or just the teacher community? In general? Yeah, I just want to say thank you to our teachers. So you are amazing and you actually helped my kid, not only my kid, and you have so many Chinese kids and you help them to learn English and you help them you know to become more curious about the world. Yeah. So you change the world and change a lot of kids' lives. Yeah. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. you. You brought up a question just now. Did you say your kid? Yes, my kid. So there's a VIP kid teacher out there somewhere that's teaching Jesse Chen's kid. Uh, yes, <laughs> actually a lot of teachers a because you teachers. know uh, my kid currently is almost seven years old. When uh -huh. he was uh, four years old, he started to learn English in VIP kid. Oh. So he is the kind of the CEO. Chief Experience Officer yes. in VIP Kid. Oh wow! So um, my, I just asked him to, you know, to test a lot of new teachers and help the new teachers get more book bookings. So so far, I think he already had a class with over one hundred new teachers. One hundred yeah. new teachers. Yeah, CEO, right? Chief Experience yes. Officer. That's something that I think that's new information that nobody knew. Yeah, you, we got right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. yeah, he improved a lot. Mm -hmm. that's, that's so great. Yeah. I saw before, um, he's a little bit shy. Yeah. 
now he's very outgoing and he talked to the teachers okay. in the classroom. Yeah. I'm so happy to see growing. We're really glad that you're here. I know that people are going to really lose their minds when they see you at the meetup later. So thank you for coming. Thank you yeah. for talking to me. Yeah. I'm super honored to have met you. So I'm so glad to talk to you. Yeah. I got a lot of information from you. Good, good. I was they are really you. helpful. Thank you. Our teachers are amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hope you meet this chance. Uh, okay. Good job. Great. <laughs> This is Amy, and Amy had an opportunity this morning, right, to yes. teach your one of your was it your 7:30 class? It was my 7 a.m. class. 7 a.m. class in yes. front of who? <laughs> in front of Jesse Chen. In front of Jesse Chen. So she came into your home mm -hmm. and like sat beside you and what she you did. So actually, they took an Uber in. Oh. And so I ran out to my apartment gate, opened it for them. Uh, I was so nervous, so anxious. Yeah. As soon as she got out of the car, she gave me a big hug, and like yeah. the nerves just melted away. It was awesome. so nice. Awesome. And I, I'm in a little space, mm -hmm. so it was three of us in there. Yeah. Um, but it was just really nice. Yeah. I just focused on the student. I didn't even look at them yeah. until after. Yeah. So you were able to just like put them out of mind and have the composure to go ahead and finish yes. class like normal. Yes. <laughs> awesome. What lesson did you teach? Do you remember this morning? Oh, it was a new student. A new I've student. never seen them before. Ah, it the was pressure. on fingers and toes. Fingers and toes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. That's kind of an honor to have her in your home, it right? Is. It's a big honor. Awesome. Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, you? 